Welcome back DIY enthusiasts and tool aficionados. Today we are diving in the head-to-head -head comparison that has been the talk of the construction and woodworking communities. Hexol vs Sawzall. These two heavyweights in the world of reciprocating saws have been battling it out for supremacy, and we are here to break down the features, benefits, and real-world performance. Whether you are a professional contractor or a weekend warrior, the showdown will help you decide which tool deserves a spot in your arsenal. So, let's jump right into the action. First up, let's talk design and build quality. The Hexol, with its compact and ergonomic design, aims to provide single-handed control, making it ideal for tight spaces and overhead cuts. On the other hand, the Sawzall boosts a more traditional design with a larger grip, catering to those who prioritize a secure two-handed grip during heavy-duty cutting tasks. Both tools are built to withstand tough job site conditions with durable materials that can handle the rises of daily use. When it comes to cutting power, both the Hexol and Sawzall are equipped with high-performance motors. The Sawzall being the larger of the two generally offers more power and higher cutting speed making it an excellent choice for heavy-duty demolition work. The Hexol, while slightly smaller in stature, doesn't fall short in the power department either. Its more compact size and maneuverability make it perfect for integrate cuts and tests that demand precision. Versatility is key in any power tool, and in this category, both the Hexol and Sawzall bring the A-game. The Hexol's compact design shines when working in tight spaces, making it a go-to for plumbers and electricians. Its ability to handle smaller branches and pipes with ease is a real advantage. Meanwhile, the Sawzall's longer stroke length and higher power output make it a staple for construction crews as it can effortlessly tear through lumber, metal pipes, and even masonry. From simple DIY projects to professional construction sites, both tools have a place to shine. Portability is often a deciding factor for many DIY enthusiasts and contractors. The Hexol's compact size and lighter weight make it a breeze to carry around, especially when you are moving between job sites. Its single-handed operation is a real plus in terms of convenience. The Sawzall, although bulkier, offers superior cutting power for larger tasks and can still be transported without much hassle. It's a matter of balancing power with portability depending on the nature of your projects. Nobody wants a tool that feels like a tech hammer in their hands, right? In terms of noise and vibration, the Hexall often comes out on top. Its smaller motor and design tends to generate less noise and vibration, creating a more comfortable cutting experience, especially for extended periods. On the other hand, the Sawzall's larger motor and more aggressive cutting action do result in slightly more noise and vibration. However, it's worth nothing that wearing appropriate protective gear can greatly mitigate these effects for both tools. Last but not least, let's talk about pricing and value for your money. The Hexol is generally more affordable, making it an attractive option for hobbyists and those with lighter cutting needs. It provides excellent value for its compact size and versatility. The Sawzall, being a larger and more powerful tool, does come with a high price tag. However, for professionals who require its cutting prowess, the investment can certainly pay off in terms of time saved and productivity gained. Thanks for joining us today in this rip fighting comparison between the Hexol and the Sawzall. If you found the showdown helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your fellow DIY enthusiasts, and subscribe for more in-depth tool comparisons and helpful tips. Until next time, keep crafting, building, and innovating with the right tools for the job. Stay tuned for more tool talk right here in this channel.